Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Katz, and we're going to be doing some cryosurgery procedures today. We're going to be using the CryoPack and the ultrasound, which is located behind me. And um, we're going to start off with the procedure for the first interspace. The first interspace is going to be used in this case because the patient has pain between the first and second toes. This procedure can also be used for any interspace. Before the procedure, the patient will come in. What we'll do is we will actually find the source of pain and we will mark that area. In addition to that, we'll do a diagnostic injection. Once the patient has confirmed that that is the effective area of pain, we'll then um, know that that's the spot that we're going to be treating. So what we're starting off with, we're going to apply local anesthetic to the surgical site. We're then going to make a very small incision with a 14 gauge needle. Following that, we're going to insert the cryoprobe. So in this case, we're underneath the intermetatarsal ligament and we're going to start our freezing. We're going to do a three minute freeze with the cryoprobe and then we're going to discontinue using the probe by taking our foot off of the pedal and we're going to do a 30 second thaw. The thaw is actually when you have nerve death and the nerves um, have cells within them. They form ice crystals within the cells and as it defrosts you'll then have bursting of the cells and death of the nerve. So after the second um, freeze and the 30 second break will then be done with the procedure and we will gently take the cryoprobe out. Following that, we'll place the bandage on with the antibiotic cream and the patient will be instructed to keep that on for 24 hours. The patient can do activities that are basic such as house, walking around the house and doing work around the house that's simple, no excessive walking, um, no sports or any type of working out. And that's for 48 hours.